Kingsflyer here, rcgroups.com, with the new Spectrum S155 Smart Charger. In the first three videos, we looked at setting up the S155 Charger, charging normal batteries, and then charging smart batteries. In this video, we'll be using the Spectrum S155 Smart Charger to program the smart settings for a 4 cell 2200 milliamp hour smart battery. In the last video we saw that as soon as we plug the power lead of a smart battery into the S155 smart charger the display showed initiating smart charging and then the display changed to show charging. The easiest way to access the smart battery programming will be to press the enter button while the screen is still showing the initiating smart charging message. Press and hold the enter button until the display screen changes to the charger setting screen, then release the enter button. Push the down button until you see the smart battery settings menu item, then press enter. The top item will be auto storage. Press the enter button to enter into the time setting menu for the smart battery self discharge function. The number of hours represented there range from 240 hours down to 12 hours and there's actually a selection at the bottom for turning off the self discharge function. Now I like to set mine at about 48 hours. So once you have the time that you want selected Press the enter button, which will program that setting into the battery and bring you back to the menu. Okay, pressing the down button again will get to the charge current option. Press the enter button to enter into the current settings values. Now these values will go usually from about 3C down to, I think, down to about a tenth of an amp. There it is. In a tenth of an amp increments. I like to charge my batteries at 1C, so in this case it's going to be 2.2 amps. So once you have your selection highlighted, press the enter button to enter that into the battery and return to the menu items. Down button again brings us to charge voltage. Press the enter button. That will bring you to the selection of charge voltages top voltage being 4.2 volts going down to 4.1 volts now the lower you put this voltage the less of your capacity you'll have in the battery but the better it is for the battery and the longer the battery is going to last I like to get the highest performance out of my batteries that I can I usually set this to the full 4.2 volts press the enter button to set that into the battery and go down back to the uh, smart battery menu. Down arrow brings us to storage voltage. Now storage voltage, let's push enter. That brings us to this menu and we can select between 3.90 volts all the way down to 3.70 volts. Now I like to set mine at about 3.80 which is kind of halfway between and this voltage will be what the auto storage function takes the battery down to uh, and leaves it there at this voltage for long term storage. Once you set your voltage on the display, press the enter button. That enters it into the battery programming and returns you to the menu. Now pushing the down button again brings you to the battery history item. This is a really interesting uh, function pressing the battery history, press the enter, that takes you to the menu and on this brand new battery it shows that it's had one charge cycle. That's pretty good. I have batteries that have 60 to 100 charge discharge cycles on them and they're still in really good shape but the battery keeps track of it and that information is available on the battery history menu item. Press back to get back out of this menu and then press down again and the next item is the fault log. Press the enter 
button to get you to the fault log. Since this is a brand new battery, it doesn't have any faults on it. But fault log keeps track of the times a battery has been overcharged, or those times that it has been over discharged, or times that it has been over temperature. So you can read those items on the display. And all of those things are recorded in the battery itself. Press the back button to exit that menu. Down arrow brings you to battery update. When you press the enter button, if there's an update available, it'll, it'll show. Press enter to do the update. And it will do the update of the battery. We'll let it finish the update. If the update is not available for your battery, that item will be grayed out. And you want to leave the battery plugged in until it completes the updating process. Okay, update completed. Press the button to exit. So we're going to exit the menu. And it's going to go back into initiating smart charging. So I'm going to hold that button down to get back into the menu here. And I'm going to go back and check. So we have set here charge currents 2.2, charge voltage is 4.2. I'm going to go down to smart battery settings. Okay, we can see that we have programmed in the auto storage setting for 48 hours, the charge current for 2.2 amps, the charge voltage to stop the charge voltage at 4.2 volts per cell. We've set the storage voltage at 3.80 volts per cell. All right. Now we go down here. We've done the battery update. The next item on the list here is the back function. So push the back arrow and we go back to the charger settings, push it again, and we're back to the main menu and it's going to show you that we can start charging. Uh, we can press and hold the button. We can go to the, we show the chassis charge. Go down to start. If we want to initiate the charging, just push the, the menu button there, the enter button. It's going to start charging the battery. And it'll use all the settings that we just programmed in. So let's review. We've successfully used this Spectrum S155 smart charger to program different kinds of smart battery settings for our four cell 2200 milliamp hour smart battery. From this point forward, whenever this battery is charged on the S155 charger or on any smart charger, it's going to automatically follow the program we just installed. When the battery is not in use, it'll count down for the number of hours we've got programmed, the 48 hours, and begin to self-charge down to the 3.80 volts that we programmed in there. If we decide to change any of these settings, we can easily repeat the programming process and change any or all of the values as needed. Well, this wraps up our four-part video series on the Spectrum S155 Smart Charger. I think you'll agree that the S155 provides a lot of technology in a very user-friendly package. You know, it also does all this at an economical value-conscious price point. This is Kingsflyer for rcgroups.com. Thanks for watching.